In this video, we're looking at the brand new version of LumaFusion 3.0, and we're gonna show you all of the new features coming to LumaFusion. Now, bear in mind, this is a pre-release beta version of the software, and some of the features that you see in this video may change before launch. So this video is sponsored by us here at Editor's Keys. So if you edit in LumaFusion and you own an iPad Pro, then check out our range of LumaFusion keyboard covers for your iPad Pro. They offer you protection for your keyboard and all of the shortcuts for LumaFusion. Check out the link in the description below. Hey, welcome to the video. I'm Mark Brown from Editor's Keys. And if you're new here, consider subscribing if you're into video editing or LumaFusion, as we have a ton of tutorials on the channel all about LumaFusion. So this is a really exciting day. We're getting to look at LumaFusion 3.0 before it comes out and just show you some of the new features that are coming to LumaFusion. So let's just run through all of the new features. So the first one that I'm really excited about is video stabilization. Yes, stabilization is coming directly to LumaFusion. So let me show you that here. I've got a couple of shots uh, which I did when I was in Norwich last and they're just standard handheld shots, a bit of walking. You can see it's pretty shaky. And even this one here is kind of like a static shot, but you can see it's still a little bit wobbly. So let's add stabilization onto this. So let's go in to edit the shot as you normally would. And along the bottom here now, you'll see you've got a new stabilization icon right here at the bottom. So all you need to do to add stabilization is simply tick this box here. And what it does is it analyzes the footage and then it applies the stabilization. So quickly, let's just play this clip through. If you watch it, you can see it's a little bit shaky here right at the start. It smooths out a little bit, but all the way through the shot, you can see that I'm really doing it handheld. So let's turn on the stabilization and then let's play through the footage. There we go. How much more stable does that make the footage? And that's built right in to LumaFusion. Let's try that on another clip. Let's go back to this shot here. Let's edit this clip. Let's go into stabilization. Let's play this one through. And you can see I'm trying to walk and it's just, it's not really usable. It's so jerky, it's so up and down. So let's see if LumaFusion can do anything about this clip. I'm gonna turn that on and let's play it through. And there we go. How much more stable does that look? It almost looks like it's on a track. So you've now got two shots that were probably a little bit too wobbly and unstable to use that have now been saved with LumaFusion 3.0. Next up, LumaFusion have added resizable UI to iPhone, iPad, and the new M1 Max. So essentially, before all of the spaces were kind of locked, you could move them around a little bit, but now you can actually resize them by clicking and dragging this little area here. So if we pull that down, you can see it's so fast and smooth, but we can make the monitor window bigger, we can make the timeline bigger, and you can just play around to your heart's content and that works really well. As I say, it works on iPhone, iPad, and the new M1 Max. Next up is a feature I know you've all been waiting for, and that's the ability to edit from an external hard drive. So I've got my little Samsung T5 drive that I use, and LumaFusion have listened to your comments. You can now edit from these external drives, and all you need to do is go to Settings, go to Preferences, and then if you scroll down to Advanced Settings, you'll see that you now have the options here for external drive editing. So I've got mine turned on already, so you can turn that off, and you just activate that, and you'll now be able to edit directly from the drive. Next up is numeric entry for sliders. So let's go in and edit this shot here. And let's say uh, before, you know, you wanted to maybe adjust the brightness or the contrast. Before, you would have to grab one of these and slide it up or down, or use your trackpad to adjust the contrast. Now, you can actually click the little pencil icon here, and actually type in your own numeric entry. So let's say we do 0.6, hit enter, and you can see it's ramped that brightness all the way to the top. So this is great if you want really precise controls over all of the sliders within LumaFusion. Next up is improvements to audio. And for the first time, you're gonna be able to use audio plugins within LumaFusion. So let's press number four on the keyboard and jump into audio. And you can see there's some new settings here at the top. But this new one here is the one you're gonna be interested in. Press that and you're gonna be able to import additional third-party plugins and effects. 
how cool is that? We'll be trying them out. We've created some for vocals as well. So we're gonna be making those for LumaFusion here. So if you record on shotgun microphones, you'll be able to import the Editors Keys audio plugins into LumaFusion and just improve your vocals as you go, as you edit within LumaFusion. And that's not all. In addition to all of this you've seen today, there's gonna to be some new packs for LumaFusion. There's gonna be a director's pack, which is gonna have multicam editing support. So if you do a multicam setup like we're doing now, you'll be able to edit multicam footage directly within LumaFusion and it will just become a breeze. And I think it's something that a lot of people are really gonna enjoy. There's also gonna be support for video scopes and advanced keyframing. A lot of people have been asking for that and that's gonna be here in these upcoming packs for LumaFusion. Then we've heard there's gonna be something called the craft pack, which is gonna add extra features for subtitles and captioning. And a biggie, there's gonna be speed ramping within LumaFusion. Now we don't have it here to show you on this version, but we have been told it is coming to LumaFusion and it's something that a lot of people have been asking for again. So it just seems with version 3.0 and the upcoming packs that LumaFusion have kind of answered all of the prayers from video editors around the world. So we hope this little video has helped you today. It's uh, really got us going here. You know, we're really looking forward to uh, LumaFusion 3.0. Let us know in the comments section below is that kind of all of the features that you want in LumaFusion. Is there anything missing at all that you'd like to see in future versions of LumaFusion? Let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.